Edward? Alright, you made it to the place? That's... that's awesome! I mean, not that awesome for you. Likely there's a way to end all of this before they get scrapped by the end of the week. I know how they work. It shouldn't be a problem. I just need you to understand exactly what I'll tell you, alright? Good. See you in a few hours. Now I need to do some of my own research.
Non osare copiarmi l'idea, mi raccomando! Hey Edward, we meet again. I got some information like you told me to about these animatronics. Before you do anything, please listen to me. The one you have in front of you is Koso. At least, that's what remains of him. He's so broken that he can only move when someone's really near him. And that's the tricky part. In order to turn him off, you have to apply four sensors on his body so you can turn him off without, you know, risking anything. So once he's off, you could actually be able to talk to him again. I repeat that I'm doing this just to study the animatronics in here. They're just too interesting. But since I'm here, I'm sure I can help you with your cause. Alright, turn. You see the sensor number one? Pick it up and be quick. Don't lose eye contact with Koso. Great. Place the sensor in the bottom side of his right eye. Yeah. Now, keep your flashlight into his eyes. This will make him lose awareness. You know, when you're ready, I hope you search for that blueprint in a previous restaurant. This will make our job much more easy. Here, you can see his level of awareness. Don't make it go up too much or he'll be fully aware that you're actually someone. Click the start button on the first sensor to start configurating it. that every sensor you put on will make these things awareness faster. So, oh, I almost forgot. On the fourth sensor, he will show his back to you. That means you won't be able to hover your flashlight into his eyes. But he won't be able to detect you that fast likely. So, I suggest you to be quick and do not turn to your right. Well, see you later and good luck.
Now remove Koso's head so you can press the button and finally turn him off. Nice! Now you can finally get out of this nightmare. And since it's basically morning, we could go get some coffee. Sounds good to you?
guess you're getting the hang of it, right? That's good. Because there are now two other problems for you. We established that once these animatronics are turned on, their system would stop working and they would probably never be off completely. During the day, they are not a problem, but at night, they really are. But, um, we tried to make the magician and that small cat character work. The magician one has a problem in its system and thinks it's a good idea to peek through doorways. It wouldn't be a problem normally, but it gets irritated if someone doesn't look through a door, too. So, if it comes too close to the security cabin, just see if he's peeking through the door lock in front of you. I also should worry you about that little cat. She doesn't like melodies. That's why we installed a music box system on your security tablet. But sadly, it has a limited power. But you can recharge the power whenever you want. If you see that cat aiming for the vent shafts, play the music on the side she's in. That is all for now. See you tomorrow!
Hi, Edward. You're in front of Kosa now, right? Well, I have good news. All the sensors have already been applied into her. Now all you have to do is turn her off, like you do with Koso. Just- <laughs> I am not who I used to be. Not anymore. Edward? Where the hell have you been? I I heard a loud noise before you disappeared from the call. I guess that thing attacked you? But how? From what I know, these animatronics can't attack you if all of the sensors are inside their suit. You'll tell me about the details later. Now, turn her off if you can. Also, I have an idea on how to make your shifts much easier.
So we hired a guy named Andrew the Mystery that reprogrammed the three small animatronics to help you during the, your night shift. He offered to help us for free, so we couldn't say no. Okay. So those three fellas are small cat robots that could enter your security cabin at any time to give you some help. Like refilling the music box entirely, playing songs, and many more. But the guy said that there is, of course, a problem. If they are not given enough attention, they will become angry and could somehow hack your equipment if left ignored. So, <clears throat> if you happen to see them, press their nose to activate them, and they should help you. But be aware, they can also not help you at all. Oh, and if you turn around when you see one of them, they will most likely sabotage yourself. So, pay close attention to them. Well, uh, I think that's all. So, uh, see you on your next ship.
This is the perfect time to meet new faces.
It wasn't so easy after all.